Welcome to CAD with Mr. Hugh. In today's video, we're looking at the construction of a triangle. In the previous video, we looked at the construction of a triangle given the length of three sides. And at CAD with Mr. Hugh, we aim to become your favorite CAD resource online. We thank you for joining us and we will be starting the video now. Welcome back to CAD with Mr. Hugh. In today's video, we'll be looking at the construction of a, of a triangle given the base, one side, and the base angle. So the first thing we're going to draw is the base. So we're going to go to our line command, and we're going to choose this point here, and we're going to go 90 millimeters, enter, enter. All right, the next thing we're going to do we're going to construct the base angle at B. So let me label A and B for you. So single line text. I'm going to turn off. Snap. This point would be, the height would be 4 millimeters. Enter. Rotational angle 0. And here, capital A, A. And this is B. So at B, I'm going to center the drawing for you. At B, we're going to construct the angle at B. So, the 60 degree angle, so we're going to go arc, center, start, end. The center would be at B. The radius would be 15 millimeters, like that. I'm going to label this point 1 for you, single line text, right here, 4 millimeter height, rotational angle 0. I'm going to label this 1 so you can follow along. From 1, I'm going to mark another arc which is equal to the radius of the previous arc, which is 15. So center, start, end. The radius will be 15. All right, where the two arcs intersect, that will be two. I'm going to label the two for you so you can follow along. So this point, four millimeters, zero rotational angle. This point is two. All right, so the line drawn from B to the intersection at 2, that is the 60 degree angle, all right? So we go enter. All right, what are we going to do now? We're going to, I'm going to draw a random construction line out here. I'm going to turn off ortho, enter. And I'm going to use the extend command to extend the line from drawn, the 60 degree line drawn from B to 2. So there it is. Good. I'm going to delete this line. It's not part of the construction. All right. All right. So that is a 60 degree angle. The next step is to draw an arc from A with center A. To intersect this um, line that we drew a while ago okay the next step is to draw a radius from a equal to the length of the given side so we're going to go arc center start end center at a and the radius would be 80 millimeters enter and we're going to mark that arc coming just like that. Where the arc intersects the line drawn for the base angle, that would be the corner for the triangle, right? So let me zoom it up um, for you, right? So, so we have drawn the arc 80 millimeters. What we're going to do now, we're going to draw the side, right? The side AC. So C would be where this arc intersects this line. So I'm going to zoom it up for you. So I'm going to center the drawing for you. Good. 
Right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to shift the point to, uh, I'm going to move the point to closer to the intersecting arcs that we drew previously. So we're going to press enter, select the base point. I'm going to turn off um, snap and object snap. So we're going to click here. I'm going to move the two coming down. I'm going to turn off ortho and put it right there. Good. All right. So C would be this point, so I'm going to label it the point for your single line text. Height is 4 rotational, angle 0, this point is C. Alright? So single line text, rotational, height would be 4 rotational, angle 0, this point would be C. Alright. So the next step is to draw a line from A to C. So we go line, need to turn on object snap, click there, and we go to the intersection there, enter. This is where the line AC would be for the triangle ABC. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to break this line. So I'm going to go to Modify, Break. I'm going to click the line here, this construction line. Then I'm going to click the break point. And then now when I click on the line, see that line BC is highlighted. Then I'm going to put it on the outline layer. And this would be the triangle. A, B, C, given the, given the base, the base angle and the length of one side. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to place the dimensions on the drawing. I'm going to um, break, I'm going to trim this line. So I'm going to draw a random line here. Enter, and then I'm going to trim. Good. Enter. I'm going to delete this line. It's not part of the construction. All right. So I'm going to center the drawing. Good. All right. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to insert the dimensions. So I'm going to go linear. I'm going to do the base first. Then I'm going to, in, going to indicate the angle. So I go angular, I'm going to click this line, this line, and the 60, I'll put it right there, right? Then I'm going to go aligned, and I'm going to indicate the measurement for AC, which, which is 80 millimeters. All right, so this is our triangle ABC, and we can turn on the text, and there is the there is a drawing, right? We had labeled this in the previous drawing, right? So there are two alternative triangles that you can get from the same measurement with the base 90 millimeters, base angle 60, and the length of a side uh, being 80 millimeters, okay? So on the screen, I have the two possible triangles that you can get correctly using the base of 90 millimeters, the base angle at B at 60 millimeter, 60 degrees, and the length of the side a, um, being 80 millimeters, right? So let me label the drawing for you. So this one with single line text. I'm gonna turn off snap. So this point could be height to the four rotational angle zero. 
So this will be drawing one and over, over here, which was the second drawing, we can call it drawing two, right? So C would be where the arc intersect the line at 60 degrees from B. And it could also be where the same arc intersect the line, the angle of 60 degrees coming up from B at C. Right? So there are two possibilities. And I put the, the drawings, the two triangles side by side to highlight the fact that um, there are two possibilities um, for this construction when you're looking at the construction of a triangle, giving the base one side and the base angle. We have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we looked at the construction of the triangle given the base, the base angle, and the length of a side. In the next video, we'll be constructing a triangle given the base, the altitude, and the base angle. So we're looking forward to seeing you in that video. Please take care until we meet again. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, Comment and share.